Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a really fun concept, which is letting AI pick my manicure, and I'll be sharing a full tutorial. So let's get right into the video. So with AI becoming a super popular thing recently, um, I decided that I would actually do a really funny trend that I've been seeing go around, which is letting AI pick um, a nail design. So here I'm using the Snapchat AI, and I'm just going ahead and asking a really few basic questions. Um, so first I ask just sort of like a base color and what I should be doing. Um, and then I asked if I should do a design. So I got the response of glitter or florals, and with it being summertime, I thought I would go for something a little bit more floral. Um, and I'm really just asking like pretty simple questions, um, like if I should do gel or dip powder or like specific brands. And I really thought it was super uh, cool and also scary at the same time how detailed and accurate the responses were. Um, I'm not really like a super big um, like connoisseur of AI. I don't really like indulge in you know chatting with like bots online. Um, but for this concept, I decided you know I would go ahead and try it out, and it really surprised me with um, how like in depth the uh, robot or whatever was responding. So here I'm just continuing to ask questions. Um, we decided with a daisy design um, using dip powder as well as some gel polish. And then here I'm just wrapping up the conversation. Um, the AI suggested matte, which I normally don't do, but I actually think it pulled this design together. And then, you know, I'm just asking a few more background questions to really get all of the information that I need. Now I am curious to see like how varied these um, responses would be if I tried this again. Also, they um, the AI said to send a picture of my finished manicure, which I actually forgot to do. But again, like I don't know if it can see photos or like form a comment based on a photo. So honestly, I'm a little bit glad I didn't do that because that might be kind of scary if you know they responded to my picture. But anyway. Um, I'm just continuing the conversation here and seeing where this goes. Like I said, I have been seeing this trend around. I've really seen it all over YouTube with like nails and makeup and any topic. Um, so let's get right into my little spin on this concept. So I'm starting off with my cleaned and prepped natural nails and the AI bot said to use dip well dip liquids. So here I'm starting off with my bond liquid and this is just a dehydrator that's going to prep the nail surface. And then here's my base liquid that I'm going to be using also from dip well. And the AI suggested I use Revel Dip Powder, and this is that really light pink color that was suggested. Um, this one is called Erica. And I'm going to be doing two coats of this over all of my nails just to get a really nice, even base color. This one is a little bit sheer, so it's not going to be fully opaque, um, but it just gives the nail a really nice coverage and evens out that tone. So I'm going to go in with my normal dip application routine as always, which is applying a thin layer of base, dipping into the powder, and then tapping off any excess. Now, I definitely could have gone way more um, in depth with the questions that I was asking the AI generator. Um, however, I really didn't have like a strong inclination to get super deep into the questions um, just because I like to stick to my normal application routine and everything like that um, but I do think it would be kind of cool and neat to see like how precise the generator could be um, but anyway here I'm just going in with that first coat and wrapping it up and now I'm just going in for a second coat and this is the same exact process as before so I will let you guys watch and then I will be right back
my powder layers are complete, I'm going to activate using my dip well activator. And this is just going to harden up all of those powder layers and make the nails ready for filing. So I'm doing two generous coats on all of my nails and then letting that dry for a couple of minutes or so before I go in with my file just to make sure everything is completely solidified. And I did go ahead and file off camera just to save a little bit of time, but uh, basically I just went around the free edge and gently over the surface. Then I am going to go in with my Bellavina by Double Dip Gel Art Liners. Um, these are really perfect for painting on designs. And I know these are no longer available, um, but you can definitely just use a white gel polish and a thin nail art brush that will do the same exact job. And I'm just painting on those little daisy shapes using the white. And then I will go in with sort of that orangey yellow to create the center of the flower. And this is a pretty self-explanatory process. Um, like I said, with these brushes, this technique is super easy. And the design is overall just super cute and pretty. So I'm going to continue painting and then curing after each nail just to harden that gel polish into place so I don't mess it up when I move on to my other nails. Now I wanted sort of like a medium yellow tone and I didn't have that in one of the gel liners so I'm just taking some orange and white and mixing that together to get my perfect shade. And then once I'm happy with the color I'm just going to dot the center of all of my flowers to really complete the look. And then I'm going to cure one more time to harden up that yellow color. And now I'm going to seal in all of my nails first with a glossy gel top coat. This is just going to sort of even out that nail surface since the design is a little bit textured. And it's going to give the nails a nice glossy finish. Now the AI did suggest a matte top coat. And I do find a matte top coat usually goes best over a shiny top coat. So that's why I'm going in first with this layer. And then once this coat is fully cured, I do go in with my Madame Glam matte top coat. And that will take away the shine completely and give a really nice smooth finish and cool effect to my nails. So like I said, here's just a close-up of the velvet matte top coat I'm going to be using. And it's the same exact application uh, technique as the previous layer of top coat. Um, just applying a nice thin layer to the nail surface and then curing once I'm happy with the application. I'm just going to wrap up with some cuticle oil and I did actually use a peel off base coat um, just so I could show you guys me popping off this manicure which I think is pretty satisfying so here is that for you to enjoy. And of course here is a finished look at the manicure I was able to create using the AI generator on Snapchat. I think this manicure turned out really pretty and it's definitely not something I would have picked out by myself so having AI pick it out for me was really cool and fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little challenge and tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.